struggle. This is an ongoing struggle. This is the very least we can do when we look at pictures like that. When we look at the pictures of our Ugandan sisters and brothers who are being kidnapped, who are being tortured, who are being killed. And let's be honest, General Museveni would not maintain the dictatorship for 35 years without the support of the United States. Mm. Now this new president has said, human rights and democracy are going to be the anchor of his foreign policy. We want to see it put to test. We want there to be one uniform standard for all human beings. We don't want there to be one standard for Africans and another standard for non-Africans. That is called hypocrisy. If black lives matter in the United States, black lives matter in Africa. Yes. Yes. It is from Africa that all of us originate, after all. The cradle of humanity. That's not challenged anymore. So how is it possible that Africans are the worst treated human beings on earth? That doesn't make sense. We believe what the President of the United States said. We will give him the benefit of the doubt. We are encouraged by some of the statements so far. I think it's significant that Secretary of State Lincoln said that elections in Uganda were neither free nor fair. No United States President has said that before, so we think this is important. But we noticed that the U.S. has been very firm on Myanmar, where you have a brutal military junta, kidnapping, torturing, killing civilians, doing the same thing that General Museveni is doing in Uganda and has been doing for 35 years. Mm. So we watch U.S. policy carefully toward Myanmar. The U.S. has demanded the return of the rule of law in Myanmar. So we want the U.S. to have the same demand in Uganda. The United States has already made it clear that General Museveni did not win the elections of January 14, 2021. Mm -hmm. That means Bobby Wine is the president of Uganda. Yes. 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 That means Bobby Wine has to be treated as the president of Uganda. And Bobby Wine does not approve of a $900 million loan from the IMF to Museveni. Why would a legitimate president want $900 million to go to somebody who's illegitimate? Think about that. So I think it's important for the State Department to make its position clear as well, and to make it clear that it does not support $900 million of U.S. taxpayer money yes. going from the IMF to dictator Museveni. Yes, British, the United States is the major shareholder of the IMF and the World Bank. Yes. Not a dime would go to Uganda if the United States says no. So we're asking Secretary Blinken, say no to $900 million to dictator Museveni. Otherwise, It means if you don't object to the law, it means you don't object to these images here. And these are just a few photographs of the victims of dictator General Museveni. Please give hope to the young generation of Ugandans. Let them live a life free of dictatorship. Let them enjoy life and democracy just like every American citizen does. They deserve that. Thank you, sister and brother, for coming today. Thank you, brother. Uganda, oh yeah? Oh yeah. Down with the seven. Down with the seven. Oh, yeah. Okay. Down with the seven. Down with the seven. Thank you, brother Milton uh, Alimadi. So now, one more tweet, guys. I take out your phones and we're going to tweet. Um, you see the tweet uh, by Joseph Senyonis tweet. The tweet is uh, Secretary Blinken. The tweeting him. We did bring a letter to him. Uh, someone came down. Uh, we gave him a petition outside, and we wanted some kind of uh, uh, feedback.